Hello everyone, welcome back. I got here a AIM surplus slide. Okay, I, I bought lots of stuff from uh, AIM surplus. I'm usually buying parts uh, from them, lower parts kits, upper, you know, slide parts kits, um, firing pins, stuff like that. Occasionally I'll see something else that I like. Um, one of the members in my uh, Facebook group page uh, called Building Palm 80s before August 2022 20, deadline. So somebody in my Facebook page sent me a link, uh, or rather posted a picture of the slide that uh, AIM Surplus was selling because they, they know that I like the, these Alpine uh, colored, um, you know, you know, artwork, right? They, like, they know I like the Alpine colored uh, guns. So they sent me this uh, a link and I said, wow, that looks pretty really good. Uh, it was, the slide is $140, okay? Um, so for an RMR cut slide, I'm like $140. You know, I'm just going to take it and try it out. Uh, one thing I, that, it, that I don't like about the slide is that it does not have the uh, the optic posts, okay? So usually the posts are either where the screws are, where they come up, or they have the little optic posts in the front. Uh, I, and I saw it in the picture. I, I knew that this was not going to have it. Uh, but I said, you know what, for $104, what the hell? I mean, you know, I like the artwork. I mean, the, the, the two-color artwork is worth at least $50 by itself. So when you consider the whole thing is like $140, you know, less $50 for the artwork. Ah, you're getting the thing for like $90. What the hell, let me just get it. Um, so I bought the slide. Uh, I got the slide parts kit from AIM Surplus. The barrel I, I already had, this is from Hooper Gunworks. I like using the stainless steel barrels because when you put coating on barrels, it just adds extra resistance. Most of these companies uh, do not use the same... Um, uh, the same uh, um, coloring process that Glock uses, right? So unless they use a similar coloring process to Glock, what's going to happen is that the serial coating on the barrel is just going to add extra friction, and it's going to come off, okay? Uh, so so it's not going to keep that that color. So it, my thing is, you might as well go stainless steel, on a, especially on a gun like this, where you know it's just going to it's just going to look good, okay? Um, so uh, this uh, this is for the G19. They didn't have it for the G17 version. I, I actually prefer G17s. I would have got the G17 if they had it, but they only had G19, so I got this. And um, when I did it, I pulled out uh, uh, a, a working G19 over here. That's got an alpha slide on it. Um, pulled this out because I know this one works really good. And let's put this slide on it, test it out. And I already put it on there. And there's, here's the thing that, see how I'm, I'm not even, I'm not using the slide release, right? There's no magazine. When you pull this back all the way, you see how it kind of sticks a little bit, right? It, it's locked open. See, it locks open. To, that's because of the serra coating, okay? Um, basically, there's a thick level, level um, of serra coating on this, which also went into the rails over here. So that's what's causing that extra resistance. Now, I just want to take a couple of shots. Because I don't expect it to work. In fact, I expect it to get stuck because uh, because of that extra resistance. Um, since this is not the slide that, I've, so since this is not the frame that it's going to stay on, I'm not going to get overly concerned right now with getting this to work. You know, I just want to shoot this in, kind of make sure it works. You know, um, and then whatever frame I decide to put this on, you know, basically I gotta, you know, just run this a lot of times to get that, you know, to be, get that serial coating out of the slide rails in here okay so just just be aware that's that is going to cause a problem but it's a problem that is going to fix itself as you you know as you're working this back and forth um let's, let's take a shot let's see if this, is, this will work i doubt it i don't expect it to work because of that extra serial coating on the on the slide uh, never I have obviously this is the first time I'm firing this. There, there's no sights on this. There's no there's no iron sights, there's no optic, there's nothing on this. Nope. <laughs> Pulled it back, got stuck. Right, and I went forward. Alright, let's see if this will should be able to get one shot off. Right. So we got one that oh, went in like that. Did it pick up the round? Yeah, picked it up. So hold on, this is gonna be like a slow process. I gotta shoot and wait for the slide to go forward. Oh, okay, slow motion shit now. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> hey, no, no sights. I'm hitting those. I'm hitting that plate over there at uh, what is this? That's about forty feet. 
So I'm hitting a man-sized target. All right, it's actually a little bit shorter than man. It's a little bit smaller. That is one foot wide by two foot tall that I'm hitting over there. That just comes from experience, you know, just knowing how to orient the gun, you know, how to present it, you know, um, and, you know, at, at, at this type of a distance inside of 40 feet, 50 feet, I mean, you know, I can just point shoot the gun. Come on, close, 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 close. Ah, it closed. <laughs> Close, close, close. Okay, I'm satisfied. This thing works fine. So that yeah, that that issue with this getting locked open the way it's getting. I mean, it, it's actually even getting better as I'm doing it. So there's that 200 round break-in period. Actually, what I think is happening now that I'm looking at it. I don't even think it's the rails. I think it's the, the top of the, the barrel. Yeah, I don't think it's the rails actually, but I think it's happening. Yeah, here it is. There it is. That's the share coating. You see how, how it's starting to wear over here? That's the, the top of the barrel. That's where it's getting stuck. It's getting stuck on there. So all that paint in there needs to come off um, and that's going to happen just by, you know, you know, by, by racking this and just shooting it. So the seracoding is it's just getting stuck over here. Uh, the cool thing about this is uh, a lot of times with these barrels, I need to file this edge out over here a little bit because it locks up a little bit too better. Uh, that's not an issue here. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, these, a lot of that sometimes has to do with the barrels. Uh, I find with the Hooper Gunworks barrels, uh, a lot of times I don't need to do that. Um, but yeah, you can see how you can see how the paint's coming off on the lockup over here. Okay, so you can see that's that's where your it's the serra coating. Obviously, the you know that's that's from it picking up the going running over the round over there, and you can see the the paint is starting to you know and even inside the rails it's, it's come. But it, initially, I thought it was the the serra coating problem was over here. It's not over here. It's over here. That's where that extra seraconing stuff. And, and I'm not concerned with it. But that's just something that's gonna, um, that's, that's just gonna work its way through as, as, as I work with this. That's just something that's gonna work its way through. Uh, main thing is I just want to make sure the parts fit into this gun. Uh, but seraconing on slides, like heavy seraconing, uh, will will cause these type of problems. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a hundred forty dollars. What the hell? Um, I like the artwork. This is because it doesn't have the front sight, the, 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 the front sight, because it doesn't have the optic post. This is not a slide I expect to shoot thousands of rounds uh, through. I mean, at some point, I'll find a, I'll, I'll get a frame that kind of ma uh, matches this color pattern. And this is probably going to become a, a safe queen for me. Um, you know, because like I said, I know from experience that with the amount of shooting that I do, where I, like, I got, I got pistols that have like more than 10, like, P80s that have more than 10,000 rounds on them, uh, and I'll do that in like within a year. Um, um, I know that that without the, without the optic posts, all of the stress is going on the screws, um, and they'll they're gonna shake loose. They may even break. So you know this is not a slide to put thousands of rounds on, but it's a cool looking slide for 140 dollars. What the hell? I'll take it. Um, it. You know what? I may I may not even put sights on this. I might just leave this the way it is without without even iron sights, and uh, this will be the gun that that occasionally I'll just shoot without sights just to practice my point shooting, you know, and put those put that target over there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, this slide came from Aim Surplus, a great company. I've I've never been disappointed by Aim Surplus, um, but just be aware that the heavy serial coating can be a pro, you know, can give you some initial issues. Don't expect to just throw this slide on the on, on the frame and it's going to work um now you know you definitely want to start off with a frame that you know works right so so this frame here i know works that's why i pulled this one out whoops that up because i forgot to put the where's my uh where's my 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 where
So that's why this is my starting point. So it's really smooth. That's that's my that's my starting point um, to test out the slide. So that's the best way to break in your slide to kind of put it on the frame that you know works. Work with that. At, le at least you'll know that the, that, the, that that you know. Or mo even more importantly, when you fix your when you, when you fix a frame, right? Get a slide on it that you know that works, right? So, so test out your frame with a slide that you know that works. Once you know that it works, then put your new slide on it and get it, you know, and basically just go through the debug, debugging process of getting this to break in. Okay? So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Make sure you guys are following me on, uh, on uh, uh, Rumble. I'm Pocono Guns over there. And on uh, Odyssey, huge tube, gun streamer, I'm Pocono Tactical. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.